After breaking apart Apple's new iPhone 8 last week, popular gadget repair site iFixit released a teardown of the tearable Apple Watch Series 3 on Monday. Given that the just-released wearable looks a great deal like its predecessor, Big Red Dot aside, it should NT be surprising to hear that it doesn't have many major changes on the inside. There's a new suite of RF chips presumably in place to handle LTE connectivity and a slightly modified charging coil to support Qi wireless charges. But for the most part, the Series 3 is laid out similarly to the Series 2 before it. iFixit says that the Series 3 does come with a slightly stronger battery, though it has a 1.07 WHR unit, a 4% increase over the 1.03 WHR battery in the Series 2. That's a very modest gain, though any extra juice should be welcome with the added strain that cellular connectivity puts on a battery. Since the new watch is NT significantly thicker than the Series 2, it seems that Apple is banking on its chips being more efficient to keep the device's battery life from being totally anemic. Beyond that, iFixit notes that while the use of a barometric altimeter is new in this year's Apple Watch, it's not totally a first for an Apple wearable. The side stare down of the Series 2 revealed a barometer in the model as well, but it apparently WASNT asked to do as much as it is here. Interestingly, iFixit stare down doesn't make mention of Apple's new W2 wireless chip, nor does it totally clarify which component is the device's LTE modem. Bloomberg previously reported that Intel would be Apple's supplier for that, but Apple itself HASNT specified. The company did not immediately respond to a request for comment. All told, iFixit gives the new Apple Watch a 6 out of 10 on its repairability scale, the same score it gave the iPhone 8. It says that, while screen and battery replacements are at least doable, most deeper fixes are too tricky for comfort. You can take a full look at the Apple Watch Series 3S insides here.